Oxygen, which is the main component of cellular respiration, is the final electron acceptor of this metabolic reaction. During this process, two electrons are given to an oxygen to convert it to water, which is harmless to the body. However, if the oxygen molecule only receives one electron, it then becomes a superoxide radical. These superoxide radicals must be broken down regularly into a harmless form of oxygen to avoid damaging cells. If the radicals are not broken down, they will build up and create cellular oxidative damage, which can cause cognitive dysfunction. This can occur with aging and other conditions. Luckily, your body has created a solution for this so it can break down into superoxide radicals. This enzyme is known as superoxide dismutase 1, or SOD1. The subunits of the SOD1 protein are joined by disulfide bonds between the cysteine regions of each molecule. Histidine residues allow for the interaction of zinc and copper 2 plus with the subunits. The enzymes work by alternatively adding or removing an electron from the superoxide O2 negative radical, forming oxygen or hydrogen peroxide, both of which are less damaging to the body since hydrogen peroxide can be further broken down. A mutated form of superoxide dismutase is believed to be the cause of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS. Although the mechanism is not well understood, it is likely that an aggregated form of the enzyme is responsible. ALS is a motor neuron disease that causes the death of neurons resulting in muscle degradation that affects coordination, speaking, and ultimately breathing. ALS is a condition that requires intensive care and to this date has no cure. From diagnosis, life expectancy does not generally surpass four years. Because of that, it is extremely taxing for family members, as you can see by my friend Mike, who lost his battle with ALS. Cheryl, I love you. Thank you for taking care of me. If the tables were turned, I hope that I would be the same. Amy, I love you. Trevor, I love you. Carson, Declan, Bennett, and Maddox, you're my grandsons and my favorites. I love you guys.